You've tuned in to Hype Talk Radio. The voice of the Midwest. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Hype Radio with your host, Taj Longino, man, the new voice of the people. Hey, on the line with us right now is a uh, Naptown Zone, 317 Zone, Maestro. What's going on with you, boy? What's going on, man? All right, man, what's good, man? What's going on out here in Naptown, man, with you, man? Not much. Just trying to get some money, put out some hot music. So what kind of hot music you putting out? Album dropping on the twentieth. Top Money and Music, our solo album, record label, Game Face Records. What do you feel like that the uh, Naptown scene is missing that's gonna blow it up right here for everybody to start eating off of it? Well, actually, uh, what I really think is missing is uh, a female vocalist. Actually, like I got like four artists on my label. I got three rock rappers that pretty much rap about what's going on in the streets, and I got another rapper that's conscientious, but. I, it's been hard for me to find a local uh, female artist. That's why I think, I mean, it's a lot of us rapping about the same thing, but like me, myself personally, my rap is more lyrical. I think that's missing a little bit. And also, I'm the female, like R&B, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to too many girls that be, you know what I'm saying, holding it down or putting a lot of music out on that tip. Okay, so you said you got an album coming out. Yep, April 20th. Now, what kind of production, you, I mean, what kind of collabos, production, what can we expect on this album right here? And this, this is your third project, right? Yeah, this is my third solo album. Um, I took like a two-year hiatus, you know what I'm saying, from the game, and I'm back on it. I, really, I just collaborated with the artists that's already on my label, and also outside artists by the name of AT, I Beyonce Records. I got my guy Range on there, uh, Lil Q on there, and the rest is just all me. Now, what's your MySpace page, website? How can people get a hold of you if they need to track or they want to get down on what you, on what you and your company are doing? Well, uh, if they want to get at me or get a track or anybody actually looking for a label home um, and get me on the MySpace, myspace.com slash 317, Game Face Records, or myspace.com slash Young Strizzle, two Z's, L-E, and the number one. So I can be contacting on both of them watch uh, MySpace pages. Well, if you're just listening in, man, it's the Hype Radio interview with Maestro from Naptown, man. I know the thing here. Because I've been around it for like over 10 years, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you, what do you see, how, what do you see the industry going and how, how has the, the, uh, the change of the game affected you? Well, I mean, I think right now the industry is like at a standstill. You know what I'm saying? I think it's time for something different. Ain't nothing different to me except the Midwest. I mean, the West Coast did their thing, the East Coast, South, everybody did their thing. And each time it was new, it was fresh, it was hot. And now I feel like it's, it's time, really just time for the Midwest to bring something back different to the table, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. Like we got a whole different flavor, just our lifestyle, you know what I'm saying, where we from, how we do. It's just not, we're not getting hurt like that, though. Now, I, when I interview uh, artists from the Midwest, I always talk about unity with everybody, yeah. especially from this city, because I know that's what we're lacking. I I'm, want to ask you the same question I asked them. How can we break that barrier? to get everybody on one accord so we can move this thing forward so the industry has no choice but to come here and start cutting checks. I think everybody, like, as far as local artists, needs to stop trying to be the big dog by themselves. You know what I'm saying? It's like when it comes to collaborating, it's like it's not happening enough, and you come with some people with collaborating, they were like, well, I got my own thing going on. You know what I'm saying? I think it should be like we all trying to make hot music, so we all just make it together. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got certain artists that I, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, that they collaborate with anybody. But you got way too many that don't collaborate with nobody. So I think that's been holding us back for, since I started. I mean, I just got into the game 2000, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's been holding us holding us back ever since I started on this, you know what I'm saying, on this rap. And it actually been going on before then because I started back like in 96, 97. Yeah, and so I, I seen it then, and it's really still happening. And a lot of artists didn't, a lot of artists had deals on the table that didn't, uh-huh. you know, I mean, just a student. It's all because nobody's coming together to actually make sure that that one person, everybody seems like everybody wants to be the first one that does it. Exactly. That's what it seems like. I mean, it ain't, it ain't even, it shouldn't even be about being the first. It's like, I, like I tell, like, my artists in my group, if I shine, y'all gonna shine. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all in it with me. Like, if anybody from that shine, it's gonna bring attention to the rest of us. So, why not just... You know what I'm saying? Spread it around right now. You do the producing. You rap as well. Yeah. yeah it's like I think Dr. Dre started that, rapping and producing, and of course Kanye did it, J.D. does it. What kind of style yeah. are you bring to the game? That's- well, my style is uh, it's just me. Like, 
I'm naturally more lyrical, you know what I'm saying, lyrically inclined with my raps than you expect, like, you know what I'm saying, from Midwest artists, you know what I'm saying? I don't think can be mimicked because, like, nobody me, you know what I'm saying? It's just the way I put my words together. My, my style is more like wordplay, but it's also about life, you know what I'm saying? And I, you know what I'm saying, I make club songs or whatever, but I'm trying to bring, I'm trying to keep some kind of meaning in my music, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm not trying to make radio songs all the time, I'm trying to make music that can last the test of time, you know what I'm saying? Something that's going to be meaningful. I'm kind of glad you said that because I told another artist um, on the interview, I said, you know what? Well, a lot of, we don't get that, when you hear music now, it ain't got that 20-year feel to it. It's got that, yeah, it's hot right now, I'll burn it out, and once it's done, I don't, you know, you won't touch it ever again. You know, I exactly. still pop a Scarface. I can still pop a Scarface into this day and you ride to it like that's I what I'm saying. It. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, that's why I tell my artists, I'm like, we're going to make some music that's going to be at the last the test of time. You know what I'm saying? We're not here to make radio songs. Like, you know what I'm saying? We got to make radio songs as part of the game. But our focus is making out quality music. You know what I'm saying? That somebody gonna remember. Now, what's your new single? You put them up, uh, pumping up a new single right now in the club on the radio. What you got going on? I'm wow. on my uh, one single, Patron in my cup. I was in um, Tremors last Saturday. Gave it to DJ Duck. You know what I'm saying? Go check it out. Try to get it on for me. I got that. And my other single that's uh, getting a lot of hits on MySpace. Um, song called Fly Guy, produced by my guy Casino. Uh, yeah. My main two singles off the album. Do you uh, yeah. do you feel like the DJs here in the city help the local artists enough to pump them up? I think they do their best so far. You know what I'm saying? The ones that I've dealt with, I like I had like DJ Chaos. He uh, hosted one of my mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? Show me love, DJ DJ Flip. Show me love, DJ Smooth. They all been, you know what I'm saying, for the most part. But it's not all on them. And if you know what I'm saying, it's not if they can't get it or if something happens, like it can't really stop you because there's way too many DJs. You just got to keep it moving. If one say they can't do nothing, you just go to the next, or you find another way to get your music out. How are the radio stations treating the local artists these in uh in oh nine? Well actually I haven't gave my uh new singles to the radio yet. Probably was because I have to make a radio version and won't be ready till next week. Like the, they did like Rec One, he's played two of my songs before. You know what I'm saying? He called me and let me know when it's about to go on. If it's hot I feel like they probably play it. So you know what I'm saying? If they don't feel that way, then that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Keep it moving. What kind of advice would you give any artist out there that's just brand new coming in the game in Naptown? We have, you, know, you know the challenge that we face in this city. What kind of advice would you yeah. give them? I tell them never give up. Like, a lot of artists come to my label. This is my second label I started. And if they don't blow up right away, they they don't want to make no more songs. I'm like, it's not an overnight process. You know what I'm saying? Success thing. If you really want it, you want to stay with it. No matter what happened, whatever. Door they close in your face or whatever. Whoever tells you they don't like your song, you got to keep on doing it. Keep on going. Yeah, yeah. That's my main advice to anybody doing this music thing. If it's in your heart, you got to just keep on doing it. Don't hear it stop. Just keep on on hard. That's what's up. You listen to Hype Radio right now, hosted by Taj Longino. We on the line with Maestro from that town. Now, you got the album dropping April 26th. You know what I'm saying? April 20th. April 20th. April 20th. April 20th. My bad. April 20th. Yeah. There, everybody. You got the new single, Patron in My Cup. Get that MySpace. Patron in My Cup and Fly Guy. And Fly Guy. Get that MySpace again to the uh, listeners. The main MySpace, uh, MySpace page you can, I can be contacted is myspace.com slash 317 Gameface Records with an S on the end. That's the main. Anybody you want to find out what's going on, check the blogs or see what new songs are posted. You know what I'm saying? Go there and check it out. Any more shout outs you want to give on, uh, me out there before we get out of here? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to my group, Diversity. They just dropped a uh, mixtape called Real Niggas. They album coming to the stage and be out in June. Give a shout-out to my other artist, K. Mello. His mixtape is coming out. Shout-out to Lil' Q, song on my album. And shout-out my son, Lil' X. That's what it is, man. Let's give one more shout-out, man, to Hype Real and the Hype Magazine. Can we give one? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> shout-out to Hype Magazine and Jamila. That's what, that's what it is, man. Appreciate y'all, right. man. Y'all hey, no, for the Midwest, man. Yeah, we, we on the Midwest Hall. We so focused right now, man. We're going to help Night Town get to where they need to be because I know the pain. And I know what y'all going through, man. So we we trying to do whatever we can to put to push everybody to get everybody out there. You know what I mean? So hey, man, we appreciate it, man. Jamila do a lot, man. We appreciate all of that. I've been knowing her for a little while. You know what I'm saying? She always was trying to help me get on. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, a lot of love. I appreciate that. We all appreciate right. that. No problem, man. We want to thank everybody for listening to Hype Radio with your host Taj Longino, man, from Not Town Zone Maestro, man. Go get that album April 20th. All right. What's the album called again? It's called Money and Music. Now, what can they, oh, I forgot to ask you this. Where can they get it at? 
going to be in that town music and local karma stores. And if you see me in the streets, most likely I'm going to have about 500 copies of it on me. So that's how you can get it. That's what up. Now, town, we got to support each other. Everybody stand up. We want to thank everybody once again for listening in. You can check this interview out on YouTube at youtube.com slash go get it TV. All right. And you can also check this interview out posted later on on gethypeonline.com. All right, Maestro, we out of here. I want to thank everybody for listening. Like I always say, love each other. Do expect to be loved. We out. All right, man. One.